the transparency in that website like really moved me because I wasn't anticipating that. Yeah. When you told me to go and check it out, I was just like, wait a minute. What? Why so much? So let's start there. Why why did you feel the need to be so transparent on there? So before I even had it on the website, it was a it was a part of my just protocol of being like uh, I've been blessed to t- spend a lot of time in indigenous communities and prior and informed consent is a very important mm-hmm. free prior and informed consent is very important. That means that you want to give people the opportunity to consent in my case, to engage with me. Mm-hmm. And in order to do so, it's important that they know my past and where I've come from. Right. Mm-hmm. And so I have been verbally abusive in relationships and I've my queen, when we started talking, I let her know up front, you know, I, if I get, I got nominated for an award for the Jayu Film Festival, I sent them over to the website to the statement. Now, part of why I decided to put it on the website is because I've been subjected to a lot of uh, lateral violence. So there's a lot of shit that's been said that there's certain individuals out there that just have it out for me. And that's the case with a lot of people. And as you, you know, grow in prominence and this shit's just going to happen. It's mm-hmm. what it is. They used to torment me. Mm-hmm. So at one point I was so self-conscious about whatever the fuck it was that people were saying that I wasn't even going out to public events or anything. This was long after Gorillas of the Word. I would mm-hmm. like not go nowhere. I, I spent about two years just kind of hiding from public events because I thought the whole world hated me. Over time, I started to narrow down where all this shit was coming from and the few individuals that were behind it all. I made my peace with it. I did an interview with the Forgiveness Project called Look Both Ways on Instagram. Mm -hmm. And I told my truth, you know, and I have a brother, Marcel Wilson from One by One Movement. And he says, if you don't tell your story, someone else will tell it for you. Yeah. I decided to tell my story. Um, Some of it it ain't even got nothing to do with me. It's supporting a friend of mine and he was in a custody battle and it was really ugly. Uh, but we have everything documented in, in, in his defense, right? So, mm-hmm. But just nobody ever asks because a lot of times people just, just run. Right. Word is wind. It's easy to poison people's perspectives these days. Yeah. yeah. So I decided to put it on my website because, I mean, I was already doing that anyway. Mm-hmm. And it was kind of getting, I don't want to say it's getting tiring, but it's like, here, just go check this link. Mm-hmm. You know, just check it on your own time. If you If you read it and you're not cool, I respect that, you know. Okay, you want to offer me this position, this prominent position? Go read this shit before you offer it to me. Yeah. You want to withdraw yeah. it? I respect that, but I, mm-hmm. I don't want no one else to come at you and tell you shit. I want you to hear from me. Right, right. And then you make your decision. If you hear other shit that I didn't say there, that shit ain't true. Let me, you know, feel free to come and speak to me about yeah. it. I've been harassed online by individuals. I've I've had to block upwards of fifteen accounts. You know, wow. just. It's it's a thing. I actually want to do a workshop around how to deal with online harassment. Not that I'm fearful of my safety or anything at this point of my life, but it, it just became really annoying. And, you know, there's some people that are just not mentally well out there. And, and at this point in my life, I honestly just pray. like I don't have ill will towards people. I pray for their healing mm-hmm. and for them to leave me the fuck alone because it ain't I'm living my life. You know what I'm saying? I'm yeah. not out here to hurt nobody in 2020. COVID happened, everybody's depressed, all this QAnon shit is going on, everyone's, everyone was confused, bro. I seen a whole different side of people that year, yeah. I was like, oh, man, yeah, yeah. Cool, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so I had to really kind of start distancing myself, like a lot of people went cuckoo, and yeah. all that turned out, to, a lot of it turned out to be bullshit, you know, so, yeah, yeah 2020 was bad, bro, and, and that was, that was when I said, let me just put this shit on my website, and whatever, other inferences or whatever people want to do it's on them but this is my truth i'm at peace with it i'm prepared to deal with the consequences i have you know caused pain with my words there is a lot of learning and unlearning i've had to do as a man and through therapy to behave differently i've also learned about health and your Mm -hmm. gut you know sometimes if you're if you're constantly angry it might not even be that you're a mean person your gut might just be fucked up and you might just need to cleanse it and detox it and that'll start to balance out the hormones 